Good afternoon, guys. So, um, I know I'm late with my, um, my prayer video. Um, I was, uh, busy yesterday. I woke up a little late today and rushed out to church. So, um, I'll get that up soon. Um, but first I want to post this video. Um, I need to, I need to, I need to post this video out. Um, so look for, for, um, my prayer video late, literally around today. Um, I posted a video, um, might have been Thursday or Friday on I had to do with the rapture and you know i'm going through um the old testament prophets and, and uh in particular um the minor prophets and i feel that i got some insight into you know about the rapture and things like that so i posted it you know i put what i put but as i've mentioned in my videos before i love reading comments because i like to know what uh people are thinking but it really gets to me when I see believers start attacking each other over doctrinal differences, it, it really, it truly kind of like breaks my heart because whether you believe that the rapture is pre-tribulation, mid, post, after, whenever it is, it doesn't matter. What matters most is that we're all believers in Christ and we'll be with him. It doesn't matter. Only he knows when. But when we sit here bickering over the stupidest things, and you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to attack one camp, but I do notice that the post-tribulation uh, camp and even the mid are the ones that are very harsh. They're very, they just want to beat up on those who believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. Um, I do too, but again, I might be wrong and it might not be. Uh, pre-tribulation i don't know only the lord knows but when i see other believers beating people up for believing a little bit differently than what they do than how they do it does nothing but reminds me of the political environment and the media environment of our country in the united states and i'm pretty sure it's the same thing around the world where if you don't believe what other people believe they beat you for it they want to shut you up and it's the same thing. And, and the, the post-tribbers and the mid-tribbers, especially the post-tribbers, there's no reason for you guys to copy and paste the whole Bible in the comment section. There's no reason. And whether you know it or not, I have some subscribers on my channel who are um, baby Christians or pretty new believers or some are, who are maturing and we're all maturing. And by you posting all these things, all you're doing is confusing people. How are you edifying? How are you building up the church of Christ? How are you building up the body? So I, I just want to say, like, you guys need to stop. I mean, I don't want to block you because, you know, then I'd be no different than what I'm saying that the media is, how they, you know, they block people, how they cancel people out for, who, who think differently. I respect your opinions, but respect others' opinions. There's no need. There's no need, as I said, to copy and paste the whole Bible. Listen, I know the Bible just as well as you do. Or as, as well as the next Christian, okay? Which is very limited, okay? No matter how much you think you know, it's very limited. So please, stop or I will block every single person who, who decides to post the whole Bible comment, you know, copy and paste the whole Bible onto my comment section. I will do that. Especially when I see it on, on people who are subscribers of mine who I know are pretty new in the Lord and are trying to grow. So instead of being so critical, instead of, just bashing them. Why don't you try and help somebody out? Why don't you try and teach them the right way in love, not in, in this, this arrogant, prideful ways that you guys do. And we know what the Lord hates the most, which is pride. So anyway, I, I just had to get this out there. And for those of you who, if, you, if you're subscribed to my channel and you're from that mindset that you, you want to put all that information out there and just, you know, copy and paste the Bible, I, I'm going to tell you the same thing I've told people in the past. Why don't you start your own channel? Why don't you start your own channel and get your own subscribers and get, you know, try to teach people the way you want to teach them, okay? Because I guarantee you, nobody will go to your channels. So anyway, look for my prayer video later on tonight, and tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be posting up our, our parables that we've been going through. God bless you.